r slash ask reddit reddit what good thing got ruined discovery channel some of us like to learn about stuff via television instead now we are watching men look for gold or freeze to death looking for crabs hell even mythbusters in their heyday was still good science yes it was packaged for popular media but i came away from your average mythbusters episode feeling like i had learned something there were kids that wanted to get into actual science when they grew up just because of that show and no it wasn't just for the explosions Mythbusters had me mixing shit together like a scientist when I was little. And I don't mean chemicals. I mean stirring up ice cream saying it was chemicals. Or mixing several nearly empty shampoos in the shower and calling it a new formula I made up. I ducking loved that show. It made me feel like I could grow up and be a super cool scientist. Edit. Is this where I thank a mysterious redditor for the gold? Does this make me a paid scientist now? Strawberries. It used to be possible to tell the ripeness and sweetness by the color but then they figured out how to make them all red. Even the flavorless underripe ones. Now you have to smell them. Sweet ripe strawberries will smell really good. Fake ripe strawberries will smell like nearly nothing. I always notice when something is in season by the way the produce department smells. Sounds weird. But if you walk in and you get a wave of fresh peach, you'd better buy those peaches. Son. Edit. A lot of skeptics out there claim that I am being duped by my local Murren Park grocery with artificial fruit scent. It's an interesting claim. Does anybody have any proof? I've ruined about 3 albums for myself over the years by setting their songs as my alarm tones. Sure enough I grew to hate those songs. Pavlov would have loved me. I stopped using Here Comes the Sun as my alarm 3 years ago. And the first few chords still make me jump. I used to use the songbird melody from Bioshock as my alarm. Now when I play the game I panic because I think my alarm is going off. MTV. Remember when they showed videos, had concerts, had unplugged, and did interviews with bands? History Channel is another. Used to show history. Now it's reality shows. I miss back when it was the Hitler Channel. Sure, it was all World War 2, but that's history, not aliens and scummy pawnbrokers. Kind of an obvious answer but keep calm and carry on. I got given a keep calm, your only 30 inches coffee mug for my birthday. I had politely chuckle, say thank you, and then banish it to the back of the mug shelf. Haha <laughs> I'm sure you could get away with using it ironically. That time when you were allowed to have a political opinion without people labeling every other party associated opinion to you as well. Can't be pro-choice and casually racist at the same time like the good ole days. LOL. People like to categorize. I just list off all my most polarizing ideas and then say you tell me. But I talk to reasonable people so they usually just laugh at that. And we move on. People categorize so heavily that you can describe a candidate's ideological stance on a bunch of issues and have a person emphatically agree. But then you tell them that the candidate is a democrat. And suddenly they're like, oh hell no I would never vote for that idiot. I'm like, but you believe all the same stuff they do. Hate political parties. Okay, so there's my answer to OP. Political parties could have been useful to help analyze a candidate. Instead, it just make people bigots against politicians. Charlie Chaplin's mustache style, aka a toothbrush mustache. Yes, I get it. Maybe if we started referring to it as the Chaplin stash, we could take it back. Nice try, Adolf. Actual pranks, not being a dunt and trying to get away with it. It's just a social experiment, bro. Library of Alexandria, without doubt. Before the wide and winding Nile, where men had come to learn. He simply stood and stared a while, and watched the embers burn. He saw it singed and scorched and stripped, by crimson flame and flash. A world of wonder lost in script, and scrolls that curled to ash. He watched the waste of wiser days, the fall of thought and mind. And in the glow of golden blaze, the light of man declined. And so, at last. He stared askance, beyond the hungry flame. The scholar cast a final glance, and whispered, bloody shame. I seriously want to know how you come up with these so quickly. Are you a professional poet or something? Lindsay Lohan. So true, I miss mean girls Lindsay. 
or the parent trap lenses. I used to think she was a twin when I was a wee kid because I didn't understand movies being fake. Type beard into Google Images. Anyone with one eye copied. And an expression as if to say look at my beard has ruined bits. HTTP. I. Imga. Comma his what you. Jedit. HTTP. Colon slash slash. Imga. Comma ich 6 m HTTP. Colon slash slash. Imga. Com qmjr 0 nk HTTP. Colon slash slash. Imga. Com uyky 7 HTTP. Colon slash slash. Imga. Com l 5 h HTTP. Colon slash slash. Imga. Com jn 2 rvez HTTP. Colon slash slash. Imga. Com gbq 2 step HTTP. Colon slash slash. Imga. Com ga 4 r 5 People seem to think growing a beard will get them a personality. Some seem to think it will make up for their lack of a neck or a chin. Payday 2. Guys we promise not to add microtransaction I swear. Try this goat simulator add-on. For 5. 99. So many European cities during World War 2. Quite literally. Most of what are often grey concrete blocks in inner cities today were charming timber framed cottages or beautiful grand buildings in 1938. Warsaw for the prime example of this. Getting bombed to crap then getting taken over by Russia so you get monolithic concrete tower blocks as your architecture really left a lasting impression. Rotterdam was bombed by the, the Nazis and the Allies during the war. Rotterdam however used this as an opportunity to modernize. It was drab for a long time but it's really starting become an awesome and modern city. Many other cities weren't as lucky. If I'm being honest, anything popular that Reddit touches. It's kind of a touch of death because Reddit grabs hold and squeezes the life out of it within a week. We're the Elmira of the internet. eBay. You used to be able to pick up a bargain but then it turned into a shop front for hundreds thousands of stores. Honestly it can be a hassle as a seller as well. With all the stores people expect me to be so professional and knowledgeable about every little thing. Like. Dude. I'm just trying to unload some of my grandpa's shit. You probably know more about it than I do. Black Friday on Amazon. They used to have spectacular deals but now everyone's trying to take advantage by price gouging and then marking down to make it look like an amazing deal rather than actually being a deal. It sucks now. There is a site I use called Camel 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 which tracks historical prices of Amazon products. You can set up email notifications for when the product you want drops below a certain price. Yeah I was using that throughout all the sales this year. That's when I noticed all the bullshit. My sister's land before time VHS. Meta. My boobs. After using them to actually feed the baby. The balloons have been deflated. Nice tits. A man of your word. I like it. Heroes. The writer's strike ruined that show. Jeff Loeb and Brian Fuller leaving didn't help. The writer's strike didn't ruin Heroes the first season was basically a miniseries that fully played out the plot and they had absolutely no idea what to do with it after that. Edit. Plus they had two major issues they never really overcame. The first season was good because it was mostly an origin story and they couldn't do that again with the same cast. They ended the first season with two characters. Three if you include Hero. With plot breaking powers. Season 2 would likely have been much better if Peter slash Sila had both died in the final battle from season 1. Policing the public. It was once something to be proud of in your town. Now you get the impression it is a war zone where no one trusts anyone and military vehicles are required just in case the local fast food joint has an IED on the drive through speaker. Edit thank you very much for the gold. I am glad my comment touched you like the thought touched me. I can't even imagine having second thoughts before calling the cops. I'm so glad our cops are mostly cool. I moved from a town with some of the most corrupt cops in the country to a town with a great police force. It still took me years to get used to the idea the cops would help me out. I got pulled over in my newer town by a cop for having my tail lights out. I told him I knew about them and was driving to drop the car off at the mechanic to deal with it cause changing the bulbs hadn't helped. It was after dark and he asked me how far I was going. I told him it was the next town over. He apologized and told me he could only follow me as far as the county line and told me I'd be on my own after that. Didn't even mention giving me a ticket. 
I'm a writer, and other than the rehearsal stuff you've pretty much described that industry. 2. The signal to noise ratio is ducked. Arab Spring. Dexter and True Blood. The last season of Dexter was possibly the worst television I've ever watched. The only saving grace were the discussions online which were far more entertaining than the actual episodes. The highest upvoted thread on r slash Dexter is the live thread for Ozymandias, an episode of Breaking Bad, that will never not tickle me. The Assassin's Creed series. After the second game I gave the next three all a chance, but I didn't really get that much enjoyment out of them because of all the extra stuff on the map. That might just be me not wanting to be overwhelmed with things to do though. Edit. A lot of people are saying they really enjoyed Black Flag and say I should give it a shot. But most say they liked it because it was such a good pirate game. I did play a few hours of it. About 7 or 8 maybe. But I did not like being a pirate. I want to be a stealthy assassin. Reddit. Reddit would be great if it wasn't for all the goddamn redditors. Boys and girls are natural enemies. Like Ungirians and Redditors, or 9 Gages and Redditors, or 4 Chainers and Redditors, or Redditors and other Redditors. Damn Redditors, they ruined Reddit. Woot, com. I remember the early years, college roommates and I would make a point to stay up until 11pm to see what was going to be listed. The box of crap was exciting and a new, clever idea. I thought, I read the people who originally made it moved onto another site after selling out in an attempt to make it more like the original Woot, but it just doesn't feel the same. The guy that owned Woot made the new site www.med.com. Film trailers. Compare a truly great trailer like the original 1979 one for Alien, which whets your curiosity but doesn't actually tell you what's going on, to modern trailers. Which show you every single important line, event and plot twist in the film. Seen the trailer? Seen the film. The sexual revolution. Duck you. AIDS. My life. Landline telephone service. Thanks to telemarketers. Don't worry, I get these on my cell phone too. Clone High one season was not enough. YouTube. Oh how I miss the days when you didn't have to watch a Dumbas commercial before each video. I'm just gonna list off a few duckups YouTube made in the past few years. Removal of personal channels. Google Plus. The unbelievable copyright ban hammer. Changing monetization payments based on vid length rather than vid number. Effectively ducking over every single animator on the site. Replacing the homepage which originally had your subscriptions as well as rising channels. In favor of Vivo PewDiePie prank channels and making that your default page. Pre-2010-ish YouTube may have made it impossible to reply to comments. But the content was so, so much better. The Glorious Roman Empire. Well, there was this great prog metal band called Isis. Edit. Post Metal G's. In Denmark we have an ice cream brand called Isis. Needless to say they quickly wanted to go through a rebrand to avoid being linked with ice creamist groups. Snow. I remember feeling so excited when primary school was cancelled and you'd get to play in the snow all day. Now I can't help but feel like it's such a hassle to drive in. Well get out there and play in it then. Rubbing alcohol bottle caps used to have a small hole, so you could squeeze and apply just enough. Now they all seem to have a big hole which makes you use much more. What I do with alcohol bottles is I take the cap off, and I poke a hole in the safety seal with a toothpick. Many movie franchises, Alien and Terminator come to mind. Yep, although the first sequels to both were ducking awesome. Tinder got ruined by people not looking for hookups. I remember when I first started using it and it worked great as intended. Then it got super popular and suddenly 80% of the women decided that it should be a legitimate dating app and suddenly swipe left if you want a hookup Jesus. If you want a relationship, why can't you go to one of the dozen other apps like OKC or Match and leave us to our hookups? The internet was pretty manageable before it got overrun with social media and corporate commercialization. It's kind of unbearable now, considering how quite literally next to everyone in the first world is on it. Imagine being in a really, really, really large room with everyone in it, along with their oftentimes useless opinions. That's the internet. There are decent pockets of the net, but it's pretty hard to come by these days. Too toxic. Feminism. 
hell yeah am I for gender equality and all that. But the reason I don't like you isn't because you're a woman. But because you're a douchebag get it. I'm not trying to slate feminism. It was just an example of how something can be used against someone who you don't agree with. It could have been racism or homosexuality. But I believe that feminism is good, unlike these things, but can be misused I guess. I'm sure this comment chain will remain civil and sensible. D seriously though, as a woman, I think a lot of it comes down to this victim mentality lots of people seem to have these days. Everybody wants to blame someone something else because that's easy. I wouldn't say feminism as a whole is ruined by any means. The extreme sides of any viewpoint ruin that viewpoint. Get off our Tumblr in action and all of the other outrage subs that cherry pick the worst parts of feminism. Feminism has done a world of good for women and men in the west and all over the world. It's a massive, multifaceted worldwide movement. Letting a few pissed off college freshmen and one or two basically irrelevant second waivers taint your viewers really more of a disservice to yourself than anything else. Edit. I'm at work and can't respond to the incoming stream of but that feminists think a man looking at them is rape want to make straight white men slaves false rape dare horse shit. I've heard it all. It's nonsense and not worth even acknowledging. Spongebob. How I met your mother. If any TV show deserves to be punched in the face it's this one after the last couple episodes. They moss bide it. Air travel. It was like being on a really nice bus. It was cheap. You could just show up and go somewhere. Except during the big holidays. You could stash whatever in your suitcase and it was nobody's business. Stewardesses were young, fit, and pretty. There was quite a bit more leg room than there is now. And you didn't have to wait in line for 30 minutes so that Tsar can take pictures of your dong. You walked through the metal detector, found your gate, and waited for the flight to be boarded. The food was hit or miss, but booze made up for that. Food network you used to be able to watch people interested in promoting a desire to become a better home cook, or someone that at least had knowledge to impart. Watch these 5 people take on our epic gladiatorial cooking challenge, armed only with plastic utensils, pureed lentils, a can of sterno, and a jar of olives. All of this while two of them are tied to a wheelbarrow with a fat Santa sitting inside. Or here's a 9 hour marathon of Guy Fieri, a walking Dragon Ball Z fusion of, a guy who you wouldn't approach for directions on the street, and a high school girl who just discovered her life goals to become the entire cast of the Jersey Shore. The Daily Show sorry Trevor but you're no Craig Kilborn. Napster. The Weather Channel. It used to do exactly what it needed to do. Report the weather nationwide. With insights into your local weather. That's it. Hurricane coming. They were on it. Major tornado outbreak. They were on it. And that's all they did. Now they are airing TV shows that feed from drama. And they have what basically seems to me like a morning talk show. And can someone please explain to me why every single storm capable of either producing lightning or at least 3 inches of snow needs to be named? It's like a name is tied to every single weather system now. Innocence of childhood. Duck the real world. Facebook. Now it's nothing but reposts. Vines and links. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.